Unveiling the Imaginary Landscape, A Journey Through Language. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our channel, where we explore the fascinating world of the English language together. Today, we're embarking on a unique journey into the realm of imaginary landscapes. What are they? How do they influence our understanding of literature, art, and even our own thoughts? Stay with us as we unfold the layers of this intriguing concept, perfect for language learners and enthusiasts alike. At its core, an imaginary landscape refers to a constructed visual or mental scenery that exists beyond the realms of reality. It's not a place you can locate on a map, but rather, it's born out of creativity, emotions, and sometimes, our deepest desires or fears. Authors, poets, and artists conjure up these landscapes to evoke certain feelings, to tell a story, or to transport their audience to worlds that defy the limitations of our physical universe. In literature, these landscapes serve as the backdrop for narratives that can be wildly fantastical or deeply introspective. They allow writers to play with ideas that wouldn't be possible in a realistic setting, offering a unique way to explore complex themes such as identity, morality, and the human condition. From the dystopian realms in George Orwell's 1984 to the whimsical worlds of Lewis Carroll's Alice in Wonderland, imaginary landscapes push the boundaries of what's possible, inviting readers to question and dream. For English language learners, engaging with texts that feature imaginary landscapes can be both challenging and rewarding. These narratives require us to expand our vocabulary and grasp nuanced expressions, as we navigate through descriptions that might not have direct equivalents in our own languages. Moreover, they encourage creative thinking and interpretation, skills that are invaluable in mastering any language. Now, let's get practical. Imagine you're an author, artist, or even a daydreamer, and you want to create your own imaginary landscape. Start by asking yourself, what kind of world do I want to build? Is it a reflection of my inner thoughts, a commentary on society, or perhaps a pure escape from reality? Consider elements like setting, atmosphere, and the beings that inhabit this world. Remember, there are no rules in the realm of imagination. This exercise not only boosts your creative expression in English but also enhances your ability to communicate complex ideas. Exploring the concept of imaginary landscapes opens up a new dimension of language learning and appreciation. It challenges us to look beyond the literal and dive into the metaphorical, enriching our understanding and use of the English language. We hope this journey through imaginary landscapes has inspired you to explore more, create your own, and share them with the world. Thank you for joining us today, and we look forward to seeing you in our next video. Happy learning, and keep dreaming!